Hi, it's Paris from Epic Reviews the Tech Channel, and I wanted to see if I could get XP to work on this. Now, an issue I've had with XP on older machines is if you have just the original XP, it doesn't seem to want to work with the SATA drives, which is, of course, all you got to work with here, not to mention it's a solid state drive, so who knows if XP is really going to be able to install on it. But I have here something I made a few years ago to install on a netbook, a little project I was working on. It's uh, the N Lite version of XP with Surface Pack 3 streamed into it. So I'm going to give this a try and see if I can get XP to load and how it would run on the Surface Pro. Okay, I'm going to try XP Surface Pack 3. Got the disk in the external drive. Going to hold the volume button down. Going to press the power button. I've already turned off Secure Boot. I'm holding this volume button down until we get to a screen asking me about booting from the CD or DVD. Disk is not bootable. Nope. That's another XP CD I tried. Um, it also is not recognized. I can't believe all the disks are bad, so I think there's something about that older style of bootable CD that it just skips over and says this isn't going to work with the Surface Pro. All right, this is my third attempt with XP Pro. This time I'm using the actual bot from Microsoft disk. It's, uh, there's no service pack on it, so it's very ancient, and I know it won't install, but I want to see if it will at least get to the first screen. My other two disks that um, had service pack 3 in them, they were sort of homemade, it just wouldn't boot from them, kept going back to Windows 8. Yeah, same thing. It doesn't recognize it as something that it can use at all on here.